That was odd. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to engage. I don't, man. It's just sensitive button here. I don't remember even touching it. I was wiping off the board and wham. Shortest episode ever. That was fast. <clears throat> Welcome to in-game chat for Saturday, March 21st, 2015. This is Season 9, Episode 12. I'm Scott. I'm Dennis. I'm Matt. And I'm Nathan. And everybody, welcome to the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us, our phone number is 334-272-9228. 334-272-9228. Check out ingamechat.net for all the links to get in touch with us. You can find us on Twitter at ingamechat. You can find us over on Facebook that Nate maintains so very well. You can email us, everyone, at ingamechat.net. We are streaming the cam feed ri live right now uh, through Twitch. Head over to twitch.tv, search for in-game chat. You will find us. You can uh, click. You can watch the show if you want to, or you can just listen to the show, and then you can also join the chat room uh, with everybody else in there and just have conversations while we broadcast about whatever's going on. You can talk about whatever we're talking about. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's a chat room. It's how it works. Anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, RJ not here with us uh, today. He is in Atlanta at Final Round, I believe is what yep. it's called. Yes. Yeah, he's doing a fighting tournament thing. I have no idea what his schedule was. I, I did not talk to him like I had intended to before the uh, before he had left out. So I don't know what his schedule is. I don't know how it's going uh, for him. I don't know what his wins are, his losses. I'm not. Ex I don't know. I don't know any of that stuff. We're hoping that sometime during the show tonight. Uh, he will call in and give us an update on how things are going with the tournament final round over in Atlanta. Uh, busy week. We've got a lot of stuff to uh, pretty much talk about. I mean, other than talking about the, the games that we played and everything that's gone on since the week that we were here, uh, what, Nintendo made big announcements that they're getting into the mobile video gaming yeah. section of things, not to mention revealing that, hey, we're work also working on a new console. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, nowhere on... With what kind of console it is. If no, it's, nothing. If it's going to be a Wii U replacement or a 3DS replacement or something completely different. Yeah. Virtual we don't, we don't know anything about it yeah. other than it's called NX. Yes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Was that, I wonder what's NX. That's just whatever internal code name, same as the Dolphin and the Revolution and all that. I'm just curious. It makes me wonder if it's like. Next? No, no, no. Like Nintendo 10 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how many consoles they've made, but. Wasn't the uh, NX the Enterprise and. Enterprise? No, no clue. Idea. Okay. <laughs> you guys didn't watch that show? That'll teach you for asking obscure questions. It's not that obscure. It's Star Trek. I, I don't know, apparently. I've never Star watched Trek? Star Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> not truck. I could have sworn you said truck. Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. I, I Star Trek thought I heard truck. That was, that was the D. The show. That was the Enterprise D. I thought I heard truck. truck. We'll have to see what everybody in the chat room says. Yeah. They're probably like, "We're not listening, to you guys. We're doing our own chatting. We're yeah. actually, we're actually talking about stuff." <laughs> um, we mute y'all. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. So there was the there's the Nintendo thing, and then uh, what was it? Oh God, the whole Konami and Kojima. Yeah, situation which still hasn't gotten an official. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. The, the only thing that's been said is like Kojima's just said, "Yeah, I'm going to be around for Metal Gear Solid Five. That's it." We're going to... As in, uh, like, that's the entire statement. Yeah, we're going to talk about that uh, a, a little bit later on, and, and we'll jump into... By the way, did you add anything? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, there's some other stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, let's go over the games we played. Let's start with Matt. I finished out Majora's Mask on the 3DS. Okay. And, you know, first time beating the game. I really enjoy it. I think it's uh, becoming one of my favorite of the Zelda series. Did you uh, get the Fierce Deity mask? Man, I love that thing. <laughs> it is, if I could just use that throughout the entire game, uh, you could probably speed run that game and just, yeah. you know. I know uh, it's usable in the boss battles, in the yeah. previous boss battles. I okay. don't know if they changed that in the 3DS version or not. Uh, one of the, you know, um, you played it and you got the I Fierce played it on the GameCube. Okay, on the GameCube. So, you know when you're trying to get uh, the Fierce Deity mask, you have to talk to the four, um, you know, children? Yeah. The one that you talk to for the Goro race, uh, you know, the Goron race, the controls for the N64 when you're a Goron, um, you know, you just you hold down A to uh, to go, mm -hmm. and you don't even have to touch the controller. It just, like, goes straight. And this, um, for the 3DS, it's not, they changed the control scheme where you have to push forward on the analog stick. So doing that whole race, you know, is a lot trickier. Huh. Because <laughs> you actually have to, like, you know, steer throughout the whole thing. You know, you just... 
because if you don't push forward, you don't go anywhere. So that took me several, several, several times to uh, get right. Ah, oh, sounds like fun. Because I was just bouncing off. You I'm know, better like, you than me. Because <laughs> you hit the, uh, you know, as you're going through the track on this uh, Goran race, you know, there's, you're up on platform. So if you fall off, you have to start over again. And there's open chests, uh, you know, along the way that if you hit at 90 degrees, it'll bounce you in the uh, direction you're supposed to go. A couple of times I'd just glance it and it'd send me straight backwards, you know, off the track. <laughs> I'd miss it completely. I'd just all that kind of stuff. So it was kind of frustrating, but I finally got it down. Um, but yeah, the uh, the last boss battle with Majora was ridiculously easy. Yeah. Now, with now go back without it. No, thank you. No, go back without it. And, you know, I might see how fun it is. Uh, probably not very. So uh, yeah, like I said, that's I think slowly becoming one of my one of my favorite Zeldas in the titles. It was really well done. I mm-hmm. like it a lot. Um, other than that, I uh, picked up uh, Phoenix Wright versus Doctor Layton. I mean Professor Layton. Um, I promoted them, I guess. Uh, so on the 3DS and uh, started that a little bit, and that's a lot of fun too. I like both of those series. Uh, for the how, how much of one versus the other is there in the gameplay? So far, it seems a little bit more. I mean, uh, a little bit more proportion towards uh, Professor Layton, um, but you do like you know a prologue as Professor Layton where you do like that gameplay. It's totally like his style. We had to, you know, just do solve the puzzles, the puzzles, solve the puzzles, look for the hint clues, stuff like that. Then it goes to the prologue for uh, Phoenix Wright, and it's just totally like his game style. And so, you know, you're in the court and you're defending. And now I'm back with uh, Professor Layton. So I think it goes back and forth. You know, one uh, you one. haven't run into any situation where it's like a synthesis of the two coming together. Actually, they did meet. So. Uh, it's you know they they have met in the game so but not not as far as gameplay goes it's not, not not yeah as far as gameplay I'm still playing through as Layton so it's still his style of gameplay okay but if you've played either series and if you like either series it really it does well with swapping between the two when it's time for their um, their section so I mean since I've played both you know of the series individually going back through like as Professor Layton. You know, I'm clicking on the things, I'm solving the puzzles, and they're still very challenging puzzles. Then you have to, like, sort of, like, you know, I guess change mental gears and go into the Ace Attorney mode where you're like, all right, you know, where's the evidence I need to go through? Let me read everything, you know, let me uh, present this. And so it's just like playing an Ace Attorney game. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Did you buy Skylines? Yes, I did. Okay, because I thought I saw you playing that. And I <laughs> am terrible at building cities. Hey, you know, give you a minute. You know, I know. You know. I'm. First off, number one, there's mods that'll help you. Yes. So you're, you're fine there. Um, I've been looking at some of the mods, and some of them are really interesting. But uh, one of the things I'm, like, I get in my mind, I'm like, all right. How I did you fail? Yeah, how did you fail your first city? Oh, I, I started just ran out of money, and I was, like, building roads, like, before I – because, like, if the very first thing it says is, like, build a road, and then zone it out, and then start and put, you know – the very basic stuff. Mm-hmm. So before I started zoning it out, I'm like, oh, let me like get the roads down first. You know, like have yeah, that's a, always a bad idea. An idea of where yeah. I want to go. So I'm like laying down like an entire area around. I'm doing cross sections. I'm you know making like road work, and then I run out of money, and I'm like, oh, oh well, okay, that's bad. Yep. So I'm trying to think of how to better lay out the city initially and then expand upon that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I called my city Maddiesburg. Okay. Just because. Uh, RJ's in the chat. Well, he was in the chat room. He is not in the chat room anymore. Uh. So I was going to say that, uh, oh, wow, he's maybe things are going great and he's he's got some time to talk, or things are going bad and he's got time to talk to us. One or the <laughs> I'm going to go with the great. <laughs> but uh, he was in the chat room and now he's not. Yeah. Real quick to do a, now that we've got some people in there, a nice chat room roll call here. Zufu, W. Matthew, Uncle Elias, who was hanging out with me at the, uh, the stream last night when we were doing City Skylines. Truffle Snout, who was also there as well. Saladin, uh, Razkaz, again, hanging out last night. Mumnut, Mosgus, Mavrodiev88. God, I hope I got that right. Probably didn't. Jimmy the Saint, Drobus, Dro- I'm sorry. <laughs> Dro- Drobvice. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. Drobvice, Digital Hughes, Chargers3158, Cavalier UK, Beastly TV. Uh, oh, God. Alianton? Alienton, something like that. Uh, AC Wraith, also in the mod section there. It's all of us, plus Medusa's Mirror. 
hanging out with us. So welcome, everyone, and thanks for uh, joining uh, our chat room and joining the show tonight as well. Hey, Dennis, what you been playing, buddy? Uh, let's see. I've been playing a bit more Kingdom of Loathing again, uh, getting into that, and also uh, picked up uh, DMC Devil May Cry, which is uh, Ninja Theory's take on the uh, game franchise. Uh, I played through it once before, uh, just beat it this afternoon, and then went through the Virgil's Downfall DLC that came. Uh, I was watching was you do that. Yeah, I just I I saw that you were playing DMC, and I was like, oh, he's he's got that, and I didn't know that you had actually been playing it for a while. Yeah. So I decided I decided you, to came, use the, you came. You said you came in and. Uh, I came in right during the, the, the cutscene of the of the last battle, and I thought, "Oh my God, he's flown <laughs> through this thing. He's clearly better at it than I am." And by the way, you play you did that battle much. Of course, you'd already beaten it. Once. I, I already knew how to play through. Yeah, it because okay. The, the, right at the end, you have to uh, activate your devil trigger mode, which doesn't really point point it out first time. So the first time I did it, it took me like twenty minutes of straight fighting. For was like, "Oh, this is what I need to do." Yeah, it was. Uh, that was really tough for me when I played it. I think I played it on my, yeah, I don't know, I think I, 360 and where I played yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's where I first played it I think that's well. where I first played it. Really good stuff, though. Man, the one thing, now, it feels repetitive just because it's like, you know, traverse here and then the room closes off and you have to fight a bunch of guys. Yeah. Traverse it, here, room closes off, fight a bunch of guys. It is, but, like, the fun is, is just the flow of combat mm -hmm. is, is, uh. Being able to just switch weapons on the fly, go between uh, melee and gunplay, you know that that's where the meat of the game is. Yeah, well, you know, f and that's great for people who like that sort yeah. of thing. For me, it was just it just was repetitive. What what kept me going was I don't necessarily know if it's called the level design, but it was the the level layout, the level um, the way they built the stages, the levels. Yeah, kind of, kind of the. Uh, well, I mean, it's all takes place in Limbo, all the gameplay, that is. Yes, but it's, every time, like in the beginning, when things, when Limbo started creeping its way into uh, the real world and the buildings would deform. Yeah, and, just seeing the things change. And oh, that was so fantastic. Opening up chasms in the street. And yeah, I loved it. And then I, I was paying attention to stuff you were doing through the DLC that you were playing, and I was like, eh, it's kind of carried over here as well, mm -hmm. some of the things that they were doing with that. Like, you walked up to uh, a building that rose from the side of you, but then curved and bent over. Uh, yeah. And I, I liked the way that that whole thing was, I just liked the way that whole thing was designed. Very, loved it. Aesthetically pleasing, whatever the case may be. It was, uh, it kept me going through it because I really, really enjoyed that. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the storyline, whatever, but the... Uh, yeah, story, storyline's more interesting if you've uh, played some of the originals. Which I never just, did. Yeah, I played only the first one. I kind of knew the story of the rest. So it is kind of interesting to see what, what they took out of that uh, main storyline and put into their game. Yeah. Uh, what else? Anything else? What else That's been, been about it right now. I've, yeah. Uh, I really want to pick up Ori in the Blind Forest. I tried to watch Man, Star Stealer playing that today, but uh, he wasn't broadcasting through Steam. He was on Twitch broadcasting, but I didn't flip over at the time. I was just having something in the background uh, yeah, while I was getting ready. So It, it just looks gorgeous. I, I thought, like, back... When we saw it at E3, it was going to be kind of like a very pretty, kind of like more like the Undergarden kind of game. Mm. Uh, just kind of an easy kind of game. It's supposed to be a really difficult Metroidvania. Really difficult kind of sets me off. Yeah, that, like, that's... No, I don't want really difficult. Yeah, that's why I've heard. Of course, I'm going to be playing Bloodborne. Yeah. I was so. going to say, you have a pre-order for Bloodborne. What are you talking about you don't want difficult? Well, I haven't pre-ordered <laughs> it yet. I'll do that tonight after the show, uh, but I'm. I, but keep in mind, I know everybody's like, oh, "Don't pre-order it; screws things up." I'm getting ten bucks out. You just need to go to the pre-order, or you can just go to Copenhagen and give some blood for and it. do some give some blood, and then uh, and get the game for free. <laughs> I I, I want to play it just so that we can talk about it, but I really have no intention of keeping it for very long. I'm going to be returning it as soon as I can to get just kind of do your the best most, buy rental my thing. best buy rental thing exactly. That's well, exactly this what one. I'm you going don't to get do. the ten dollars on. Oh, is it? I thought it was. Well, I thought this was one of them. Oh. It's typically almost always multi-platform. It's almost That's never That's true, exclusives. and this is not. Yeah. Well, then maybe I won't pre-order it then. Maybe I'll just go in and uh, pick watch it up on launch it. day. No, I'll pick it up on launch day. True. And I could watch you stream it. <laughs> I, 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 thought, wanna... I thought you were going to say you weren't going to get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm still going to get it. Gotcha. I still want to I still want to play it so that we can talk about it. Gotcha. Because I know RJ's getting it. I know you're getting it. 
Um, See, I had to pre-order because I had the gift card. Well, I didn't have to, but I just chose to pre-order because of the gift card. So that's I don't fine. Lose the gift card. Yeah. <laughs> and this is done by the guys that did uh, Dark Souls. The Souls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Soul series. This is their PS4 exclusive. Yeah. So uh, that is what I'll be doing next week. This week, uh, however, I've been dipping back into. I, I'm sorry. Were you, was that no, pretty much it. it for you? This week, I've been dipping back into some of my old favorites. Uh, Speedrunners. I've started that back up. <laughs> and started playing some of that. Had some fantastic matches, some, some great times playing that. Yeah, and I saw you uh, broadcasting that. Yeah, I tried to I tried to stream it on Twitch. It went okay for a little while, but uh, the you're so in a multiplayer game like this, you're so reliant on the people that you're playing with. Yeah. Because once we go back into the menu, I I keep my selection on the random level. I want it to pick a random ranked mm-hmm. level for us to play. I don't pick any one level. But you'll have people in the room like moving around, selecting a different level, going back and forth, not making up their mind. So you have to sit there for a full minute while they uh, decide on what they're going to do. Or they don't know to press A or X or whatever the button is and you're for, just waiting. for it to advance. Yeah, it's not, not so easy you're sitting there for the 60 room. seconds. And so if I'm not streaming that, sure, fine. It's a little annoying. But when you're streaming it, nobody wants to sit there and watch nothing happen for 60 seconds. Good chance mm-hmm. to get it's hard to get them to watch something happen for two hours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> much less sixty seconds, and so it was really, really frustrating. But there were some. Uh, every time something amazing happened, I would look at my the viewer counter, and it'd be like zero. And I was like, "Oh, it's a shame. Nobody got to see how amazing that just was. <laughs> uh, that win that just uh, that I was able to pull out of nowhere." Um, but yeah, it's a fun game. I think Raz Raz has saw a little bit of, of re- Speedrunner. Do you record it all? Uh, it records as it as it does that. You should like try to make a, a compilation of all of them. Uh, a little them. highlight reel. Yeah, yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> I might do that. I might try and do that. So because I, when I watched you a couple weeks ago on Steam, there were some crazy matches. I know. I got some. Uh, there's some. <laughs> there's there's some levels, and this is this is a, this is a game where in order to advance, you need to. Memorize levels. Mm-hmm. You okay. have to know. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a certain route. There's a certain way of doing things, and you have to know that if something doesn't work at this part of the level, you need to switch it up when you get to a later part of the yep. level or something like that. So, um, uh, uh, muscle memory, level memory, that sort mm-hmm. of thing is is highly involved in speedrunners, but it's a lot of fun. And what a uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I fired that up. Um, Any particular reason? Just playing through. Uh, th- oh God, I hope I'm not miss. Not mispronouncing the word, but um, getting the wrong person. I think it was Theonar, I think, if I'm saying that right. Uh, he uploaded a video and tagged me on it to Twitter. He uploaded a video of him getting a, a great achievement through uh, Arkham Origins. And I can't exactly remember what it was, but you had to do a certain amount of things in a fight uh, in okay. order to get this. And he unlocked it, which unlocked a second tier of the, the one of those Batman achievement things where you have to do all sorts of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, while you're playing the game, and he unlocked that, and for whatever reason, I was like, "Man, we can go back into this." And I still had it loaded; I still had it um, on my hard drive, and so I fired that back up and started doing the 100 to one challenge modes again, uh, just because I enjoy. I enjoy the. There's something. Yeah. I, there's something I enjoy the combat of. Uh, is is the combat in Batman? So I I've been doing that, not really in preparation for Arkham Knight, but it's sort of turned into that a little bit. And just fun to, you know, bone up on But it's it. fun. It was, mm-hmm. It's fun that I can... City Skylines is a time sink. It, or, yeah. or a time warp, if you want to call it. Because I can't believe how late it gets so quickly when I'm playing that game. How fast time just goes away. So, if I'm not ready to fall down that rabbit hole, I can pop on speedrunners or I can pop on Batman and play for like an hour and say, okay, I'm done with it. I can't do that with City Skylines. <laughs> City Skylines has that civilization thing of like, let me yeah, make yeah, one more. Be, this has to be finished. Yeah. It's like, oh, I need an industry. Let me, okay, let me just lay this industry down and let me upgrade these roads real quick. And once I get these upgraded, then I'll be done. Uh, okay, I think I'm done. Let me look around the city. Oh, I better put this here. How's my traffic doing? How's this? It just continually <laughs> snowballs and you're. I'm never able to, to put the thing down. So uh, I have to be careful with that. I had not played City Skylines since... Mm, I guess last weekend. No, it wasn't even last weekend. It's been it's been a while since I've actually since I actually played City Skylines. I I, I don't go into the game because in game Chattington, the city that I'm building, um, 
has been that whole city has been built with the help of everybody twitch the people watching yeah. on twitch and so I don't feel right about playing it without streaming it. Yeah. <laughs> I, making any changes without streaming it so that people can see that I'm making the changes feels some odd way wrong to do that. Like you're going to let them down or something? Not that I'm going to let them down, but that it's like, oh, you went behind our back That's and played the game without letting yeah. us know. Look you're... at what you did to our town. <laughs> yeah. I did, a, I did a big change last night. You did? Uh, to the town. Yeah, yeah. I got rid of my... I took my basic industry area that is just set to regular industry. I wiped it clean and put offices, which also counts as industry. But because my city is full of higher and well-educated people, there were no workers for the regular industry jobs. So offices fulfill the need for uh, having a place to work for people who are higher um, educated. Okay. You essentially so, wiped out all the blue collars and just went for the white collars. Well, I I guess I could get rid of my schools. Man, you've been listening to <laughs> conservative radio too much. Everybody has education. We need no more. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could get rid of my schools uh, so that the, the, they would have work. But I wanted to, you know, I, I tried the other way and said, let me see if this works. You know, did a save game and did. And it actually, it, yeah. it's actually working. I mean, the I was... I was on there watching. Yeah, yeah, the problem with that is that I and I don't know this. I need to research this, and, and obviously somebody in the chat room might tell this. Uh, yeah, Rena Hamster's not in there. He might join in later. Guy knows tons about city skylines. Uh, he he might know about it, but I think offices like industry brings money in because it brings in goods, it brings in whatever the case, but it, it brings money into your city. Offices, while they do provide the need for industry, I don't think they. Provide revenue? Provide revenue. Mm. Mm. I think that is kind of, the, that's the balance that they put in there. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I might be wrong on that. But that's that's my thinking. So far, that's true. But, I mean, I just did it. And right now, I'm uh, my income went from, like, having 15 grand per week to, like, three grand wow. per week. Um, now, but it's just started. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um but yeah, I you know I renamed some stuff. I tried. Did you saw the filters? I tried some. I tried some new filters for the game. Oh my god, there's some great stuff. Look, their 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 Steam Workshop has exploded with content. Just in like what has it been? Has it been two weeks now since Around the game right? released? Yeah. Uh, it didn't release this past Tuesday, but it released uh, the yeah. Tuesday before. And so uh, it's been two weeks, and this. The, the, the workshop for this thing is flooded with content. They just did an update. The, the Colossal Order just did an update to the game that kind of rendered some of the mods pointless. But there's plenty of other mods. Mm -hmm. I tried out the first-person camera mod, which was nice. How did that go? Uh, it went fine. Basically, it just detaches the camera uh, from its normal settings that the game has so that it's free-flying. You can go wherever you want with it. So you can go as low as you want uh, to the ground, and you can go uh, whatever to their whatever their ceiling is up above but um it's just free flowing camera that's pretty much all it all they did was you know take it off the track um uh, i downloaded somebody's already built the money bin <laughs> it is in an alpha state right now so basically it's just a big square with the money with the dollar sign on the front of it and he's yet to put the dome and he's yet to do coloring but he is he is still but working on that you're well on your way to getting duckburg built. oddly yes. enough the guy building this is called scrooge i think or <laughs> something He's got McDuck there in his in his little avatar on Steam. So somebody is working on stuff like that. Nobody has built a DeLorean yet, so I'm curious about that. But uh, there's plenty of road mods that can be done. There's plenty of uh, different gameplay mods that can be done. I downloaded uh, Sunstreaks, so it would give the lighting. Hmm. Uh, like if you're looking in between buildings, you would see the, the sun yeah. shine oh, wow. through nice. or something like that. Uh, the fun one that I downloaded, well, I also downloaded an isometric view. So it gives you an old SimCity yeah, style cool. to it. You can, you can position the camera and it gives, a, it gives you a very uh, SimCity feel. Not SimCity 2013, but, but like SimCity 4, yeah. SimCity 2000, that sort of thing. It gives you that isometric feel. The other one was uh, uh, border lines, Borderlands. Oh, okay. A, a Borderlands kind of? A Borderlands filter. Um, <laughs> and it works. Was it like all cell shaded? 
it gives that illusion, yes. Mm -hmm. You saw it last night, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Nate saw it while he was watching, and yeah, it's really, really fantastic. I really love that. You turn on the bloom. You you can also de not desaturate it, but I can I can make it black and white with those lines, (laughs) so I can give it a bit of uh, Mad World. Yeah, yeah. uh, Feel to it from from the Wii. Uh, So I love I love 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 what they're doing. There's plenty of stuff that's being done. Um, In fact, in the I think in the Colony of Gamers thread for City Skylines, I posted a picture of what that looks like. And I'm going to go find that and post that in the chat room so people can see it. But, um, So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been playing. Uh, I did tr- – I don't know if I mentioned this last week or not. I tried Scream Ride for the I think I Xbox One that. Yeah, from Frontier. But I, think, I don't think you went into any details about it, though. I haven't played too much of it, just the beginning of it. And I'm not really you – know, I'm not really liking that. But only there's – First off, it, it it hasn't yet let me create my own roller coaster tracks, mm. which I think it'll eventually get there. I am not exactly sure. The first, like the first thing you have to do with it is you actually ride the roller coasters. Um, I don't want to get into the, like the the backstory of like how this whole thing is set up, but basically, you're testing out roller coasters. Okay. And you uh, you pull the trigger to go fast. You have a boost button, and you can. Lean to the left, lean to the right. You can do two wheels and that sort of thing on the rails and that sort of stuff. And it boosts your points. Um, and that's about it. Okay, so it's, it sounds kind of like one of those, like an SSX type of game except on a roller coaster. Sort of. I haven't, I haven't unlocked if there's any tricks to pull. But in <laughs> a way, yes, it does have aspects of that. It's simply going from point A to point B and trying to get the best style while you're doing it at the best time while you're doing it. So and also not falling off the track, um, and that's as far as I've gotten with it. It just really, it obviously hasn't held my attention enough. <laughs> it really should, because when I saw Frontier pop up on the on the game, I thought, okay, you're the same guys who worked on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I hope this goes well. Yeah. But <laughs> did you ever play Thrillville? No. Never played that. Okay. Never did. Uh, but anyway, that's what I've been doing. Over to Nate's. Um, really just, uh, beating up, uh, Hotline Miami 2. I'm about done with that. I think I'm on the last stage. Um, been enjoying the music on that. Uh. Has it been a good game? I've been... Yeah, I mean, it, like, yeah. I don't know if you, uh... There's, I've, I've just seen a lot of people who said, yeah, I'm a really bad, big fan of the first one. And then, like, the week after release, they're like, kind of like, oh... It, I mean, this not... one, to me, this one's just as good as the first one. Okay. It's not better than it, but it's just, now, I mean, it has its glitches right now. Which, you know, isn't necessarily a good thing, but it's not, it doesn't take away too much from the game. So to me, it's just as good as the first one, but not better than it. Um, and they've added some good things. They took out, there's uh, one thing I didn't realize, which makes sense now, but I, I had read on a post is that it went from, I think there's 34 weapons in the first one. There's only 26 in this one. So they actually took out weapons um, just because they said they didn't feel it added anything to the game, which I, it really you haven't really noticed them being gone uh but yeah but about done with that and then just been playing borderlands uh, and i've been really itching to get uh a dying light yeah i, I, I played uh, it you know played it on the ps4 beat it in the first week and you want it back I, but for pc just because oh, of the, yeah. the mods it's, it's yeah. so much i haven't tried I just, the mods yet but yeah man. it's just knowing knowing that there's gonna be mods for that i've just been really itching really itching to play it again <laughs> but I don't want to just because I know Bloodborne is coming out, and I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I, I gotta I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. I know I can get it a little bit cheaper, you know. And I want to see kind of what the people do with the mods. So, um, but I really haven't really been doing too much except the Hearthstone's new uh, uh, battle pack thing, or whatever's coming out uh, next or the following week. And the pre-order started for this week for it, and so I went ahead and did that. But and uh, is this a new expansion? It's not an expansion. It's con- they have uh, it's basically like a booster pack, and so like the the uh, goblins versus gnomes that added two hundred cards of where this only adds thirty one cards, but you play against the computer to try to get them, so hmm, okay. it adds more of a PVE sense to it. Yeah, to get the cards and the cards are more PVE ish. It, it, it's kind of hard to explain if you, unless you've played it, but um, pretty excited for that as well. But yeah, so Bloodborne's my main next thing I'm just waiting for. Yeah, same here for me. I'm really looking forward to. It looks beautiful, though. Jumping into that and seeing have, how have well it goes for me. 
I really have not paid much attention to it. I honestly haven't. The, the I few mean, things I w- I've seen at E3, that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I watched, I guess it was a launch trailer, which didn't really show much gameplay at all. Yeah. Which I never did. Yeah, really. the, the, yeah, the bits of gameplay I've seen, is it, it's Dark Souls. That's yes. what it is. But yeah. freer. <laughs> yeah. Like PC-ish. Ish. So that's pretty much all I've uh, all I've seen on it. So looking forward to that. Anyway, we're going to uh, take a break. No, nobody has played Battlefield Hardlines, I guess. Nope. Nope. Um, I played the last beta, and that was it. Yeah, pretty much. I, I haven't touched it at all. Um, I know Rask has in the chat room. He has played it, and I he he told me about it last last night while we were playing uh, City Skylines. I told him, hey, call into the show. Tell us uh, how you like it. So if you would like to call into the show, you can. Our phone number is 334-272-9228. That number again is 334-272-9228. We'll be back with more of in-game chat here in just a moment. Here's music from Pinball FX. This is not Pinball FX 2. This is going back to their very first Pinball FX way back on the 360 uh, before they ever came out with the Marvel tables and everything else. This is uh, the original. We'll be right back. And welcome back to in-game chat music there called Scars of Time, which is from Chrono Cross. Cross. Good, because I didn't know. That that music from that game is some of my favorite. Yeah, I know. There's uh, there's a couple of games that I have that I have favorites as far as soundtracks are concerned, and I would love to feature more of their music in there. But yeah, uh, you know. Yasunori Mitsuda, uh, Chrono Cross, Xena Gears, good stuff for the uh, Square PS1 days. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's, well, let's just go to the phone. So uh, somebody just called in and you are on the air. Who's this? Hi guys. This is Zufu from the chat. Hey, hey Zufu. Zufu. Hey. How's it going, man? Good, thanks. How's everyone? We're doing good. We're doing good. What's up with you? I'm doing good. Thanks. I was hoping we can talk about the Kojima Konami incident. Well, okay. That's fine. We were going to go into the Nintendo stuff, uh, but you know, this show doesn't have a plan, dude. So you want to call in and start talking about something else? We are more than welcome because that was on the agenda to talk about. So let's talk about that. What, okay. uh, to, to catch people up to speed, we don't actually know. There's nothing official yet that Kojima rumor. has, has, Part part yeah, ways the, the, with the, Konami. The only official thing is that he said he is going to be there for Metal Gear Solid Five coming out. Yeah, right. And there's been nothing else said after that. Everything basically this started when people started seeing um, the Kojima Productions and all this other stuff being removed from the assets for for Metal Gear and that sort of thing. Yeah, they, I think there were some things like uh, Kojima's like title changed to like mm-hmm. a consulting type role. And other things like that. Everything um, pointed to some big speculation that, that possibly Kojima was was leaving Konami. Mm-hmm. And then Konami uh, sent out a press release or a statement saying that uh, we uh, are still working with uh, Kojima in future or whatever. We're going to continue making Metal Gear. Yeah, they're going to continue making Metal Gear games after 5. Yeah. and um, then, then Kojima and Konami released one together where Kojima said, yes, I am going to be working on Metal Gear 5 through release. Right. 
which didn't necessarily it, it, it didn't say he didn't say that he would be working on future Metal Gear titles and then but it didn't say he was leaving either. But you know, right now it's his con the contract yeah. or whatever is up in December. Yes, maybe this will be like his you know Metal Gear Five Phantom Pain will be his swan song with uh, Konami. You know, I don't know he's been saying like he's working on the last Metal Gear. He's going to for five sequels now. <laughs> you know, I wonder like. Um, I remember the, uh, the guy's name that does uh, the Smash Brothers series, the, the creator of Smash Brothers. Yeah, uh, uh, exactly. Sakurai. Yeah, yeah, Sakurai. I wonder if it's kind of like that, where like you know he creates this you know world, and he's like, all right, I want to try something else, but everybody keeps on you know, no, this makes money, go back to that, and he's like, feels in a way trapped. Yeah, it's hard to say. What do you think, Sufu? What's your thoughts on this? Uh, basically, the whole problem stems from. Metal Gear continuing on, because Konami also said they're going to be working on, or they're starting to hire for the next Metal Gear. And I'm sure Kojima is pretty, maybe this time he actually said he's not going to make another one, because they kept, I guess they kept pressuring him, and I think he's been doing this for 25 years. Uh, yeah, well, whole... I remember when, uh, I think 2 was the last one he was really invested in, and after, it was after that is when he started saying, no, I, I want to be done, and then eventually turn out oh nope kojima's attached to this now so you know it's going to be metal gear like you know it i mean this this isn't the only thing that's different is the entire uh job shuffling and contracts being uh, uh coming up and everything like that yeah i mean from what you're from everything that it sounds like to me is that uh, it seems like kojima will be leaving come the end of De uh, the end of december it seems like Konami will continue to keep the Metal Gear IP, mm -hmm. and the, the sounds like they might be franchise not franchising the thing, but uh, what is it? Uh, uh, right. Assassin's Creeding it up, I guess. Yeah, yearly. <laughs> yearly releases, <laughs> possibly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't. I don't know. Metal Gear doesn't. I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem. Well, I mean, with. Four hour long cutscenes doesn't seem possible without him. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a Metal Gear game without Kojima <laughs> yeah. involved. And I think the quality of the game will definitely go down because um, Kojima had to really kind of do some, even some retconning to actually keep the storyline somewhat, um, I guess, realistic or because a lot of the going into the past, but then also having to know how it's going to happen in the future. So they kind of forced him to do a lot of these games where he had to kind of, at that moment, like, I think when he finished Metal Gear Solid 4, he felt like he was done with the series, then he kind of wrapped it up, and they're like, no, we need another one, and then I guess Snake Eater and all kinds of games that came afterwards, kind of like trying to fit the puzzle that's already there, and I think he just got tired of speculation about, like, different ideas, but what makes the most sense is that they're told him to make another Metal Gear, he said, no, this time I'm really done, and I guess they kind of took it the wrong way, kind of just like took their ball and went home, took their Metal Gear, and tried and said, okay, it's not yours, it's ours, and now I guess this is where the disparity is coming from. So, I don't know, that's, that's what makes the most sense to me, but like you said, we don't, we only hear speculation, so we can't know for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing official has been said, but if you really want to read into the line, read in between the lines, I suppose, read into everything that, that has been going on, it just sounds like uh, after December, they're done. Uh, their partnership together is done, and um, which makes me wonder about Silent Hills. Yep, that's, that's exactly what I was gonna bring up. Is like, what, what does that mean for Silent Hills with uh, Kojima, if Kojima's leaving in December? Is he still going to be working on it? Because because that's another Konami IP, mm -hmm. and it is one he was attached to. Yes, and I assume has been working on for some time, but I, I really don't know. I don't know the status of that game. Well, I mean, all we have is. The teaser. We just have that's PT. It. That's all you have. I'll see if I can get him on the show next week. Okay, do that. <laughs> get on it. Get on it, Nate. That's I'll your goal. Happy, Nate. If it doesn't happen, you're fired. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, and travel up to land and get Norman Reedus uh, going I'll, as well. I'll do it. I was looking on a uh, Wikipedia just to see like a list of Konami games, and I look at 2014, and the only games that they have that are of note is the Metal Gear, like you know, Ground Zero, and Pro Evolution Soccer. Um, I think that's basically like the that's their that's their series. That's their, Man. you know. For, so there wasn't a Castlevania game in 2014? But yes, you're right. That one. But I guess it kind of got lukewarm response. It wasn't really. Um, that was the that sequel, one. wasn't it? Lord, it did Lord's Shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lord of the Shadows. Yeah. Hmm? No, Konami, uh, Konami lives by um, PES, number one. Um, 
MGS. Pro Evolution Soccer. Yeah, Metal Pro Gear Evolution Solid. Soccer is number one. Metal Gear Solid, number two. Now they've got a couple others. Silent uh, Hill might be number three. What's, yeah. What are you looking they've, at they've, them? They've got a couple others. I mean, Contra's on there, I think. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution back in the day. But, you know, you haven't seen anything new come from that either. No. Um, Castlevania yeah, uh, would be another one. They I, have the Suicoden license, which hasn't been used in forever. But, I mean, the, the top, like, I would say the top three for them would be Pro Evolution Soccer, Metal Gear Solid, and uh, d- 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 Silent, Silent Hill. Hill or Castlevania, depending. I don't know. I think Silent Hill would probably be uh, probably is probably higher maybe than Castlevania. May I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm actually ranking them in order of importance. I know Pro Evolution Soccer is just huge for them. Um, mm-hmm. Probably bigger than what Metal Gear Solid is. Maybe running a close second would be Metal Gear Solid. Which is weird as an American because, like, you know, who of us really plays Right, that? which I'm not trying to think like an American I mean, at the I'm, moment. I'm just trying no, to think I of prefer international. That FIFA. Yeah, see, like, FIFA's huge too, but I actually think, I and mean, of course they're not involved with FIFA, but... Uh, I'm just saying I, would, I prefer PES over FIFA. I've actually never played a single one. Oh, I'm sorry. I, no, it will be nothing to be sorry about. I mean, they're fun games. I'm just not a sports guy, you know, regardless of what it is. I'm not... Ping pong or a... a ping pong? Sport. Or a ping pong. Uh, <laughs> pinball's a sport. <laughs> ping pong is a sport. Yeah, I actually did too. play uh, Rockstar's Table Tennis way <laughs> back when it released on the 360. Good, I, I am amazed at how much I played a table tennis game. <laughs> You'll be amazed. I know we're going off topic, but this is what we do. Sorry. Um, I know you'll be amazed at what you will find enjoyable when the selection is so weak. Um, that game released when 360 had very, very little to choose from. Nothing. And it was like, oh, here's Rockstar. And it's, you know, these are the guys that did GTA, right? <laughs> uh huh. They made a ping pong game. Yep. Well, it's using the same engine that they're going to be using for GTA 4. Um, and so. And boy, I played a ton of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel it's not really embarrassing. It's just it's, no. We it's out of your your. It's one of those house. things for. It's hard for me to contemplate that a game like that would have held my attention for as long as it did. And sure enough, it did. Why? Because there was just nothing else. I don't think I had a PC at the time to really enjoy mm. PC gaming. Um, and if I did at the time, PC gaming wasn't where it was at. Everybody was on the consoles, the, that whole you know, brand new consoles and stuff. So you know, Gears of War, that sort of stuff. I remember uh, the Dreamcast uh, playing um, Virtua Tennis, and you know, playing a tennis game. Who, you know, it's the same thing. Like who'd have thought? Yeah. But it, stuff like that is a lot of fun. Hey Zufu, uh, appreciate the call, man. All right, thank you guys. All right, we appreciate it. And if you would All like right. to get in and touch with us, you can. That is three three four two seven two. Uh, 9228. Let's go back to the phone. Silo, who's this? Where are you calling from? Jay from Prattville. Hey, what's up? All the way from uh, 20 minutes away, Prattville. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? On the way to Montgomery. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I just came from Prattville to come into uh, Montgomery and do the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, my uh, question is, is um, I've uh, uh, put in, um, like, I've got a, a, a Android phone. And, you know, all the free play to game, uh, you know, free free to play games, right? apps and all that. Uh, what do you guys, how do you guys uh, look at all that? Like, how, what do I look for to keep from, uh, like, uh, uh, like a virus or slowing my phone down or how, what, I, what, 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 what do I need to look for? Uh, I don't want to mess my phone up, but I would like to try to play it, you know, find something that I like. Typically, if it's on the Android market, it's going to be safe. Yeah, and Google has been, uh, they just started this week yeah. to actually uh, require a human approval for uh, things coming out on the Android yeah. market, not just. I've never run into any problem with it. Of course, I don't yeah. download very many. Very many yeah, games that's, that's kind of thing. Most most of us in here are either on the uh, consoles, PS4 or Xbox One. Yeah, or not many PC. of us uh, mobile gaming's here. Although, what mobile gaming I do is always free to play. I hardly ever try and pay for anything on my phone. There's a great one though, Touch Tone, I think, and I really want to try that out. It's like three bucks, but I really want to try out that game. Um, well, I've, I've seen one that that um, is actually with the movement of the phone. It's like a driving game. Yeah. Uh, and you drive it by the moving of the phone, and when I try to download it, my security uh, for my uh, virus, you know, I got virus protection on it, 
And it said it was opening and closing, opening and closing. It opened like six times within five minutes. So it sent me a warning. So I just discarded it. Okay, and then I had iHeartRadio on there, and then it told me the same thing about it. So I discarded it. Is is there something I need to know about that? Or, or uh, is, I would think iHeartRadio would be a safe one. Yeah, you know? uh, it also might be maybe you had a update recently in your antivirus software is not quite caught up in all the changes yet because I know uh, 5.1 came out within the past week or two for a lot of Android devices. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. glad somebody yeah, in here knows about yeah, Android because yeah. I don't yeah, know what they I, I, just, I just got the new, um, the new Android and uh, got, uh, 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 I just got the, the newest update this week for it. Um, but I had to do away with the Weather Channel because it was uh, the Weather Channel, it said... Uh, Opening and closing, opening and closing for it. So I didn't, you know. Yeah, I think so. it, I think I don't think you have anything to worry about the Weather Channel and the IR Radio and some of this stuff. So I think you're getting um, what is it, false negatives or something like that? It, it I could think. be. It also could be uh, just is a lot of those programs do run in the background or uh, are downloading things in the background just as part of. The, yeah, as uh, best I could tell, I don't think you, I don't think you've got anything to really worry about. Maybe maybe uninstall that. Um, that virus protection and then and then and, reinstall and, yeah, and, and do reinstall that. Yeah, reinstall it or, and keep an eye out and see, uh, check check their website yeah, but I think see I, if it's compatible and, with the latest And update. reset your phone. Okay. okay. And I think, right. But I think you're fine. I think you're fine. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No Have problem. Any time. All right. If you'd like to get on the show, our number again is 334-272-9228. Uh, going back to the Kojima stuff with the uh, Kojima and Konami type situation, we don't know where Silent Hills is going to sit. I don't even think we have, we never had a release date for Silent no, Hills. No, we, we literally just have PT. And, that's and that all is all we have. we have. It may end up being all we ever have. I, could be, I, I would like to see some of that. Just some, you know, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't know if you saw it a couple weeks ago when they did the Lexi of Kane uh, leak of a uh, right. son it's like oh there there could have been something good out of that i know i know it's it's always it's always depressing to see what might have been and never know what might have been mm-hmm. or it can be a little bit depressing to think about it sometimes it's sometimes it's good to have that aspect of it and then sometimes it's uh it, it's a little it's a little sad to see um when that happens let's go back to the phones hey who's this and where are you calling from Hey, this is Leonard, and I'm calling from Montgomery, Alabama. Hey, Leonard. Uh, hey, buddy. This is our this is our buddy Leonard from uh, the Extra Life. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Sweet. How's things going with you, man? Haven't heard from you in a while. Oh, everything's going super, man. Everything's going nice and all that stuff. Just uh, trying to work on uh, some charity work for Extra Life and uh, play video games. That's about it, and work. Speaking of, you are doing some charity work for Extra Life. By the way, we're going to be doing some charity work for Extra Life as well. Yeah, I, I I was uh, watching the other day and all that stuff a couple of weeks ago when you guys made that announcement. I won't lie, my heart like grew like three sizes that big that day. <laughs> I was like so excited when I heard that good. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm I'm assuming I guess we'll just join up with your team or whatever the case may be. I'm not exactly. I haven't looked into exactly what all needs to be done. I don't know if we need to create our own team or if. Uh, we just need to join the local chapter and that sort of thing and work with that. But I'll get in touch with you, and we can we can hash all that stuff out. But you've got something going on uh, that you want to tell us about. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, on uh, Next week, on uh, March 27th, I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream on Twitch uh, to hopefully inspire other gamers to go to extra-life.org and sign up for this year's uh, Extra Life event. Also, I think uh, at the end of the month and all that uh, – guys at Extra Life are going to be announcing the winners of uh, their uh, t-shirt contest, and the t-shirt contest is giving people a chance to go to E3 for free. Oh, wow. Nice. Yep. Nice. I think I'm actually skipping E3 this year. Really? Well, uh, they really haven't gotten back in touch with me about the situation. I, not to air it out there, but I might as well. I mean, I was denied, but I was denied on website traffic, which is not one of the credentials that you need when you register as broadcast media. Hmm. Which is what I've... I've done this in the past. I've, this is how it's gone every time. I register as broadcast media. They send me a rejection notice saying, your website traffic's crap. And then I write back and I say, but I'm not a website. I'm broadcast media. Oh, we didn't see that. Sorry. Send the credentials again. Okay, here you go. Yeah. On your way. This time they just haven't gotten back in touch with me. I written back and they just haven't responded saying that uh you know i've told them that i'm broadcast media the traffic doesn't matter 
It has nothing to do with the website traffic or broadcast, and they have not responded yet. So it looks like I'm probably not going to go, which actually is kind of fine. I'm okay with that this time. Um, I was there for the new console reveals, and I really wanted to be there for that. So I think uh, I think it'd be nice to maybe take a break. And definitely, maybe, or uh, or just for this year, one or the other. Uh, it'll sure help my bank account, I can tell you that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so what are your, um, when are they going to do this drawing? Next weekend? I, I think it's going to be, uh, they're going to be making their announcements uh, uh, after, sometime in April. But their uh, contest uh, for the t-shirts ends, I believe, at the end of the month, and all that stuff on the, uh, what, the 31st. Okay, and you're doing your stream uh, next, uh, next weekend? Yeah, next weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday. Uh, what time does it start? Uh, going to be starting at 9 o'clock in the morning and going all the way until 9 o'clock Saturday morning. So, okay. Yeah, what 24 do you, hours of video games. So. Are you just, uh, how are, how's the stream going to go? Are you, what are you streaming? Uh, just uh, certain games? Are you going to stream uh, from a location? or? I'm uh, going to be streaming uh, just uh, certain games. Um have plans on playing Starbound. Uh, recently, Starbound did an uh, update on their game, uh, which just really overhauled the whole game. Really mm-hmm. added that RPG element to it and all that. Uh, rented a server just for the game, so anybody who comes by the channel during the event, they can come and hang out and play on the server. And uh, thanks to you guys um, and uh, one of your MMO gurus on the show, I got into MMOs, and my guild members on Arcage were going to be hanging out and doing a guild event that night. Okay. Well, fantastic, man. I hope uh, I hope everything goes well. Is there anything that... Uh, what is the name of your Twitch channel so we can get that out there? Oh, uh, it's going to be uh, Leopold Kane. Uh, usually I'm in your guys' channel and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not near a computer right now, and I wanted to make sure I called you guys before it got too late, before the end of the show and all that. Stuff. Yeah, make sure you do that, and then make sure you... Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're on Twitter. I'm sure you are, um, and I may... We may already be following you on Twitter or anything like that. If we're not, we need to go ahead and do that. But we'll put that on our Facebook page. We'll put that on our uh, our, our we'll tweet it out. That sort of stuff. So we'll give you plenty of coverage to do that because um, it's all for a great cause and it's a uh, it's a really great thing that uh, that you do and something great that we're going to be doing coming uh, in November when we do a twenty four hour radio broadcast. Yeah, like um, I said, I'm I'm looking forward to that right there, guys. Because uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I will need your help with some of that, and I will get in touch with you about working all the details out on that. Because we're going to not just stream this show for 24 hours; we're going to have games that we can stream and that sort of thing. So, plenty of stuff uh, in the works for for that come November. I'm going to try and line up tons of guests to call in. We're going to do music. We're going to have uh, portions where we're just going to be playing some video game music for you guys. Um, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on for that, and it's going to be. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really nervous about it. Yeah. But I'm really looking forward to it. So, uh, have you done 24 hours before, Leopold? Uh, no. For me, uh, the best I've done is 12 hours. I did a 12 hour stream uh, last year for Children of the Network, and uh, uh, that, it burnt me out, man. Just doing 12 hours kind of burnt me out because uh, the next day I looked at that video game that I played for uh, 12 hours and I was like, I do not want to touch it. If you can get a hangover <laughs> from playing video games, I had a hangover from video games. I was like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to touch it. It's good to go. Uh, an easy one for me would be City Skylines because I could, I could probably do that for a good 12 and still not. Uh, I probably would be ready to play something else, but it still wouldn't, wouldn't turn me off of the game. Um, uh, no, uh, I, I'm just amazed how great that game came out to be. Too, uh, I pre-ordered it right after you guys, uh, after I watched your guys' uh, Oh, you did? For City Skylines? Stuff. Oh, fantastic. Yes, I pre-ordered it and all that. And uh, I've been playing it, and I, uh, I've been watching people like yourself play the game so I can learn how to do stuff in it. And I'm uh, not really uh, the person you should be watching to learn how to do hey, stuff hey, in it. <laughs> At least you know how to build a uh, road into a highway, okay? I'm just learning how to do well, that. No, you can learn what not to do from him. You really can. Oh, I, that's why I, I titled my. That's why I titled most of my streams how to, you know, how not to build a city or watch me ruin a city, um, yeah. watch me screw up the road work of a city. Watch, yeah. There's uh, there's plenty of things that can that can and usually do go wrong when I'm playing the game. So. Uh, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad everybody who has picked it up, based on our recommendations anyway, have, have been enjoying the game. I really haven't had any complaints come through about, um, hey, this game's crap. I don't know why you guys were so hyped about it. I haven't had any of that stuff come through. It's been nothing but fantastic for Colossal Order. So 
Uh, congrats to them. And thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate yeah, you guys. Can, will you be able to give us a call to will you be able to give us, give us a call next weekend and tell us how it's going? Well, yeah, if yeah, it's going I'll, if it's going from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m., you'll be done with it by the time we go live again. Right, right. right. Okay. And it won't be nothing for me to give you guys a call and let you guys know cuz the the biggest plant goal of this whole streaming right now for extra life is just to inspire other gamers. The way I look at it is uh, in that 24 hours if I can inspire just one other gamer to go and sign up that, that that we I've accomplished everything I was supposed to accomplish in that twenty four hours. Yeah. Uh, well, and uh, the, the, oh, I was going to say the other thing is too. Only reason why I do stream is to uh, you know hopefully inspire somebody else to be like, hey, you know what? If this guy can do it. I can do it. So. Well, we appreciate it, and yes, uh, look forward to hearing from you next weekend about how that uh, twenty four hour stream went. And uh, I'll probably tune into some of that on on Friday night, and uh, maybe maybe Saturday morning if I get up in time for it, but. Um, what's uh, anything you plan on playing? Any games that stick out? Can we make requests? Uh, well, I'm mostly playing PC games and all that stuff. Right? No, uh, no, that's that's fine. I would say City Skylines is one to, to is a good one. That would be my request. Make that no, twenty four hours go I by would, like nothing. It really will. Yeah, I know. I know. I was afraid you were going to say something like Five Nights at Freddy's or something like that. I hate that game. I hate watching <laughs> people play that game because I the jump scare get me, man. I'm like paying attention to the streamer, and the next thing I know, one of those mascots so bad i'm freaking out i'm like i can't do this okay so well then there we go i think that was i think that's the game we should request yeah no, no, I'm, I'm good i'm good i think i'm good. one fat two yeah, FNAF. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right man well thanks again for calling in and uh we'll talk to you uh, next weekend okay appreciate you guys you guys have a great day bye. you too, you too. bye bye if you would like to get in touch uh, you can our phone number is 334-272 Nine two two eight three three four two seven two nine two two eight. You can call and talk to us about anything uh, gaming related, really. Uh, if you want to talk about the games that you've been playing this week, or or maybe want to point out some games that we haven't uh, talked about, or anything you, that you want to discuss, the phone lines are open for you. Three three four two seven two nine two two eight. When we come back, we will have more of in game chat. Maybe go into some of that Nintendo stuff we talked about. And right now, here is music from Res HD, another favorite of mine. We'll be right back. Killer. Killer. I was hoping that Dennis was going to sing that for us. <laughs> and welcome back to In Game Chat. That is music. Now, why do I have it labeled? Because this is from the Kingdom Hearts. This is Kingdom Hearts 2. You do fight him in Kingdom Hearts 2 and they use this music. Okay. But it is from, it is from Final, 7. the original Final Fantasy 7. All right. Okay. That's what I. You're talking to a guy who has not really played any Final Fantasy. I never did play 7. Um. I think I played a little bit of one on PlayStation 3, and I don't even remember what that was. Uh, I can't remember which one that was Maybe on, on PlayStation 13. Three. That's the only one I can think. Probably of. that's the one that I uh, that's the one that I played, but uh, and I didn't play very much of it. I've never been into the whole Final Fantasy situation or the whole thing. I'm very interested in Kingdom Hearts, however. Yeah, I thought it was Kingdom Hearts. I was kind of right, but I thought it was the first one. Yeah. It's it's yeah. from Kingdom Hearts two, so at least that's what I've got it yes. labeled as. You would know because I think you sent me yes, the, I the sent, audio, I Dennis. Sent that in. 
So I never completed the second one. I only played halfway through it. Yeah, Duke Frukum's all like, what? You've never played it? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I've never been into Final Fantasy. Well, again, here it is. I talked about it last week. you got to understand, my gaming... I missed out on that whole period. I was not doing the. I was not doing video games at that time. I did the NES and the SNES and the Sega Genesis, and then I stopped. I didn't play. Uh, I was. I was just unaware of everything going on when the PlayStation was out, and when the N sixty four was out, and when the Sega Saturn and Dreamcast were released. I was nowhere to be found until PS two um, popped back up. Well, I was, and I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but that. But that is that is just me. So. Uh, that's why it's uh, that's why it's one of those games I missed. I'm not necessarily sure that I would have, even if I was involved with that. Maybe I don't know um, if I was involved at that time. I don't know. So anyway, welcome back to in game chat. Remember, uh, I know I give out our number a lot, but uh, it's because we don't put our number in our little title anymore and get rid of that. But uh, you can call in three three four two seven two nine two two eight if you would like to talk to us about uh, whatever in the gaming world. Right now, we're going to talk about Nintendo. Yep, getting into the mobile business. Mobile business. Well, and it's not Nintendo putting out the games. They're going through a, a company called uh, Dima, I believe it is. Is it? I thought it was D. D E M A or D E N A. D E N A. Okay. I believe is what it is. Yeah, it, Dina. Dina. Yeah. Yeah, basically licensing their uh, IP to them. Essentially, they're not actually developing this. And one of the interesting things about that is uh, just listening to people talk about this is how much. How good are these games going to be? Because this is this isn't going to be Nintendo trying to sell a system, like they have in the past. When you see like blockbuster games, like oh, I have to get a Wii U now because there's Smash or there's Zelda or what have you. You know what what will will there be a drop in quality overall? One because they're not being done by Nintendo, and two because it's just going to be for a mobile system. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. My interest in mobile games is very low. Yeah. So even Nintendo's involvement doesn't really mean that it's going to peak for me and I'm going to be interested. Um, I don't. Uh, I, I really haven't. I really haven't looked too close into this to really start to process exactly why they're getting into this market or why they're allowing. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting because. Nintendo was essentially the king of mobile, what or what you could consider mobile. The king of handheld. Yeah, yeah. Before uh, you know, mobile phones got good enough to have decent games on them. So it's just we have the announcement of you know yeah we're they're going to be producing games for us. Uh, they've said they aren't necessarily going to be free to play, mm -hmm. but aside from that, not really a lot else said yet. No actual like. Here's the first game coming out of Dina or anything else like that. Well, I, I mean, the, the speculation that I read in the articles was that it's possible that people were looking at it where Nintendo really wasn't, hasn't been doing well in their in their sales. Yeah, there was some speculation that this is a shareholder move mm -hmm. rather than uh, something Nintendo actually wants. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's a very, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's likely or not. It seems to fit, but I, I don't necessarily know. Yeah. It's <sighs> well, with the company, uh, I'm looking at their background history, and they, D, D, Dina, Dina, I guess. Yeah. yeah, and they really they haven't done anything like this up until 2012. Then they got involved with Disney to do uh, mobile social games. So that's kind of how they, from what I'm looking on here, is they didn't start. Anything noteworthy for the Disney line? Um, it just no. It just says that they started um, partnered with Disney to develop and promote mobile social games, and then they also reduce, re released at the same time a voice over IP messaging service over in Japan. But other than that, they were only uh, working with over in Japan doing other types of mobile type, not gaming, but working with mobile mm -hmm. phones and stuff like that. So they've. Seems like 2012 was when they first started. Yeah, I seem to remember a couple of months ago there was a, uh, oh, what's the name of the title? Puzzle and Dragons, I think they did. They got something Japan only with them. Yeah, they had, uh, they licensed out Mario to them to use in a level of some kind. I want to say it was Mario. Yeah, there's, I've seen, uh, oh, Bravely Default had uh, something along the lines of uh, like a power up you could buy that, uh, 
was essentially like here get this advantage in the game for like x amount it was like replenish this yeah. particular stat that lets you do this uh kind of game breaking thing but they're it, also going to be doing all of nintendo's online stuff hmm. from here on out in fact the the article i read is something akin to steam that will be across all of their platforms interesting is and dina is going to be helping out with that or setting that up hmm I It'll, it, it's all it, like a complete online community because obviously they've gotten rid of Club Nintendo. Yeah, Club Nintendo's gone. So. Club Nintendo's gone, so they're going to do something else and and in that vein, I suppose. That's an interesting take on them. Yeah, hmm. that they're going to do. Uh, like, there's there's still a lot of let's try and speculate on what's going to happen here. Yeah, not it, a lot there's, of. There's a lot of unknowns. There's not a lot of tons, concrete. tons yeah. of unknown unknowns and nothing concrete. Let's uh, jump back to the phone lines now. Uh, hello, who's this and where are you calling from? Hello. Well, nope, all right. No then. dice. Uh, you asked about some of the games. Uh, in 2011, they did Blood Brothers. You ever heard of that? No. no. Nope. Um, 2012, they did Marvel War of Heroes. Hey, I've seen Marvel games. That's okay. not I've, exactly I've, a standout. Yeah, one, just, that was what they started out with. Okay. And then in 2014, they did about eight games. Okay, so so they have experience. Yeah, so they've done they've done games since two. Yeah, I mean, I tr- I trust. Uh, yeah, I just I'd never heard of them, so I was just trying to get some information. Yeah, I mean, I trust that Nintendo did their checking and and didn't just latch onto whoever was nearby that they yeah. could work with. I'm this sure. year's Blood Brothers too, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but I'm just saying that they are. Uh, I think they did their research on this, yeah. and they they didn't get some fly by night company to do this thing. And another thing, real quick, is that the company in 2013 hooked up with Sony Music. Is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, let's try the phone lines again. Hello, who is this? And where uh, do we... W. Matthew. Oh, hey, man. Hey. hey. Did you call earlier? Yeah, I had my mic muted. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, welcome. We haven't heard from you in a while, man. How's it going? Good. What? Uh, what's up? What's on your mind? Uh, mostly the Nintendo stuff. Of the three announcements, probably the second and third one, I'm care about most the second one which you guys started talking about basically nintendo is letting dina it's actually pronounced dna when okay. it's said aloud okay. is handling all of their online stuff trust and me I, if it's a pronunciation i will screw it up yeah. if the, at the easiest way i will find a way to to, to mess that up but yeah go ahead yeah. yeah uh dna is handling all of their online stuff nintendo just threw up their inset their hand and said, yeah, we can't do this. We don't know what we're doing. Let someone else do it. <laughs> That's Well, you know, they've proven time and again that they can just they just cannot do... Uh, I mean, they can do online, but they just... Every decision seems like, why did you decide to go... Everybody has been doing Friend it this codes. way over Friend here. Codes. Why Friend did codes. you decide to do it this way? Yeah. What What is wrong with and you? And at least they're, you know, recognizing that, you know, this is not their forte. So, you know, it's smart of them to give it to someone else. The thing people need to understand about Nintendo, and this is kind of important, not only is Nintendo a Japanese company which tends to mean they're a little out of touch with the way most of the world does things. Yeah. But Nintendo is also a Kyoto company, which is the, literally the most conservative part of Japan. Yeah, it's its own subset of Japanese, you know, <laughs> this. Yes. Yeah, so you yes. kind of have a company that's really removed from the way the rest of the world does its things, which is why I'm glad they're like, okay, let's just let someone who knows what they're doing actually do it for us. Yeah. It would be different if they were, you know, based out of Tokyo or, you know, something like that where they would, you know, I would think they would have a different mentality. But uh, like you said, being from Kyoto. What was the, uh, you said that was one of the points. What was the other yeah. one? The, th- the other, the third one is that they basically confirmed they're working on a new system. Right. Codename XN <laughs> or NX, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, we had we briefly touched on this at the beginning of the show, kind of going over what we'd be talking about, and and the NX got as much conversation, I guess, as you can give it, which is there's a new Nintendo thing. I know, and yeah. that's all we know. We don't know anything else. We have no idea if it's going to be a complementary system to Nintendo what's already out there. Watch, yeah, or if it's going to be something all by itself, a new thing. Somebody again reading in articles, they had speculated that. 
Uh, it was way too early for them to, to mention this, but they had to throw it in there so mm-hmm. that because the main focus of this conference call, press conference, whatever it was, was mobile. <laughs> was mobile, and that can that can really sway people's minds. Uh, perceptions, reality type situation. Yeah. So that can really sway people's mind to think, oh God, they're they they have no intention of doing anything else with their with their console games. They're just going to sit, you know, start doing their mobile stuff. But they threw in the, hey, we are working on another console. I it's mean, if you, way down the road, but we're working on one. If you look at the timing, it almost looks like a it almost looks like a handheld replacement. It almost looks like a successor to the 3ds. Well, they release a new 3ds every six months. But- well, I mean, that's but not out of the ordinary. That's a refresh. That's no different than the DSi and the DS Lite. D- DSi, they did. Game Boy Advance had several iterations as well. I mean, yeah, that's the color not of the uncommon. mini, the you know, you know, yeah. the micro came out right when the uh, DS, DS came, came out as well. Yeah, like this seems like it's a new handheld, just because the 3DS is five years old. It's probably about time they could get a lot of Western developers back if they release a system capable of running Unity, which the 3DS can. It seems the most logical. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm curious about everything that they're doing here. I don't have that much investment into a mobile market uh, mm-hmm. myself as far as gaming is concerned, but I'm curious to see what comes from their partnership with this. Uh, I don't like necessarily... Said- Go ahead. I'm gonna say, like I said, I think the most exciting announcement is the the online the, component. Someone else do their online. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That that when I look at all when I look at all of this stuff, I'm sure people come away looking more at the mobile part. I'm sure people come away eyeing that new console, and I'm sure people look at the uh, the online integration stuff. That's where my eyes mm-hmm. go straight to. Is like, oh, good, you're gonna fix your online stuff. Uh, I don't have a Wii U yet, and but I do remember on the Wii. Yeah, uh, the friend that was, and everything. That, that was, was ridiculous. Bad. It was horrible. And I think they carried over into the 3DS that I had, too, as yes, well. Yes, they did. And it was just, oh, God, it was just like they weren't, it's, it's like they were hard-headed or something. Where yeah, it's like, I, no, 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 we can't be like everybody else. I would like I would like to see an integrated market with the, both the handheld and the console coming together. Just have all it that seemed, together. And it seems like that's kind of what they were talking about in the sort of press release. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate you calling in, man. Glad to hear from you. Um, yeah, thank so you. take care and uh, and call us back again. Yep, I will. All right, right, bye-bye. Thanks, man. And now we jump over to the next line. We've got Duke Frukum who is calling in. Hey, man. Hey, now. What's going hey. on? Hey. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I missed the discussion already, so that's why I'm calling back. I don't. I hope I'm not boring everybody on the, who's listening, but I wanted to talk about City Skylines just because it's such a great game, and if you're not playing it, you should be. Especially if you're a SimCity fan. Oh my God, I'm so I'm glad you got into it, man. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you picked it up. I didn't necessarily know that you were big into city builders, but uh, oh, uh, there's a thread on Cog where I, I said I want SimCity. This is back before they released SimCity two, uh, 2013. Um, mm. Access that is, but I said I want SimCity five now. I want spaceships. I want futuristic building. I want, and this is a big long rant because we had gone so long without a SimCity game or you know something comparable to it. Yeah. Have you? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was asking, um, have you picked up uh, Sid Meier's uh, Starships? No, and it's on my wish list. And <laughs> That's on that my wish another? list as well. I saw that at PAX South. I almost said East. I saw that uh, at PAX South being played, and I really liked it, but I was also still kind of like, I don't know. I've, I, my Civ is, that doesn't look like a Civ game, mm-hmm. uh, and I think, I'm, I think I'm good. Of course, I think it's also a mobile game, too. That's also a, hmm. that's also I think an iPad game or, oh, really? or something like that, a tablet game. I don't know what that noise was either. Um, My bad. Oh, it was Dennis's for, uh, problem. But anyway, so uh, not too interested in there. But back to city skylines. What is your current population of your city? I'm looking at it right now, 153,968. Man, wow. Now let me ask you. That's actually you, low compared to what some of the other people online are. Dude, uphold, there was but. somebody that I saw the the post today. I think it's on Reddit. Somebody got a million point one four. Yeah, I, I saw that. You know what? Those guys are using the the um, the stock patterns on cre- like it's such a boring city. Oh no, the look city looks it. like crap. I mean, it's it's a completely yeah. boring city. Uh, but I, but it works. Well, I say it works. It, Maybe it works for him if that was his goal to get to a million. You got to be whatever. a little bit. 
you got to be a little bit creative when you're building. The, you know, you can't just go grid, 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 or all of these different ways. You can you can maximize the population densities. That's so boring, and it's not impressive to do that because it's just copy paste. What you want to do is just kind of freeform it, and then you know build it around the landscape that you either design yourself or the ones that are provided to you, mm-hmm. and um, and do the best you can. And then from there, then you start adding assets, and that's that's the most fun thing. I got I got Tony Stark's um, building. I got Stark Tower in the middle of my my city right I now. I know. Aren't, don't, I just love the mod community for this thing. I was thinking about like having a you know the center of my city having it like a circle with a roundabout around it, kind of like uh, in Paris with the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, you know, like right there in the center, have a park, and then like sort of like all the streets radiate radiate out from there like uh, you know spokes on a wheel. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why I was kind of thinking about doing something like that. And you tried to build. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do something like that next too. After I'm done with this guy, and you but tried I, to I think, you tried to build that, and that's how you ran out of money. Oh, completely. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to restart. Go ahead. Yeah, one uh, thing that's the biggest challenge right now. So after uh, I'm mostly impressed with their quick to patch some of the issues because the commercial bug I hit really early, and that, I don't know if you guys were familiar with that, but it was essentially there was a bug in the way parks. Uh huh. Um, Drew, drew tourists to some of the, the areas, and it destroyed commercial demand. So you couldn't build any commercial, and then your industry would suffer yeah. because nobody's buying the, the goods. No, um, I, I, I easily noticed that because when I fired up the game last night after the patch, um, it was a couple of days after the patch had gone out, uh, I noticed that uh, my need for residential was just not, I, I desperately needed commercial. Uh, I was in bad need of commercial and uh, industry. Um, and I think that was, and I wasn't in that situation that I remember when I, when I stopped playing before, I think it was cause my parks were, were killing my commercial, well, not necessarily killing yep. it, but killing the demand for the commercial. Right. So, um, so yeah, I noticed that. And, uh, it's like I, I was, we were talking earlier, I got rid of last night. I made one of the biggest changes was I got rid of my generic industry section that I had built out. Uh, mm-hmm. I wiped that out and then put offices there because of the education of my city was not fulfilling the jobs needed by the regular industry. So I put in offices there. And it's been doing okay, but I believe it was uh, Raskaz in the chat room who did say that, and I've got to go back and find it. Yeah, they don't, uh, they don't offer uh, revenue, I think he was saying. Yeah, it doesn't bring in revenue for the city. Uh, regular industry does. Yeah, office create, Offices create jobs for higher education, but they output zero goods for commercial. Right. Yeah, the, I was thinking about doing that myself because I, I was I wanted I thought maybe if I had you know put up offices it would spike my commercial demand but yeah you know, it doesn't do that it, it's it's a little bit of a balance because I have the uh, the uh, hadron uh, hadron collider what is it called the hadron collider yeah, yeah I've, I've got that and it makes your your uh, education go to a, a million okay. capacity on all three fronts so you basically don't need any schools. Okay. So, so then you can basically drop your budget for your schools <laughs> to like nothing. The, just just go yeah. watch this thing. Just look look at it go. Yeah. Learn well, everything. They, you feel smart now. <laughs> <laughs> so now now my industry is kind of my regular industry is just in the middle of a million office parks. So I'm I'm thinking about just nuking it and just going straight <laughs> office. Have you unlocked? Have you have you have you purchased all the tiles that you can purchase? Yes, I'm up to nine. And okay. I've got, three that are unbuilt still yeah yeah i'm i i am getting to that point where i need to i either need to restructure the layout of my city um or purchase tiles or buy some more tiles and and start uh and start using those i still think i need to restructure the layout of the city regardless even if i do purchase the other tiles i think i need to work on that um and and see how that goes i need to not grid my neighborhoods but i do need to grid my industries and my commercial districts um yes yeah. One-way streets are good. Yes. <laughs> so those were some of the things. Have you tried out uh, – what mods do you have loaded? Uh, I've got – let's look. So the mods are great, um, especially – I mean, uh, I'm not talking nice about, I'm not talking about the aesthetics of, like, different-looking bu- buildings and stuff. I'm talking about gameplay-type mods. Right. I had, sorry about that. I had to actually exit my game and, and then go back to the main menu because you can't, you can't see them. When you're no, in game, no, you can't. That would be nice if you could. I'm sure somebody will build a mod for that. <laughs> <laughs> a mod for the mod. I'm not kidding, man. That's yeah. the that's Yo the dog. number one thing that uh, that's the number one thing about that game. It's like uh, there's 
if anybody says anything, it's just like, uh, there's probably a mod for that. That's right. what it first, turns out to. Oh, yeah. First person camera. Right. See your city from a different perspective. You can basically hit tab, and then it goes to street level view, and you can just use the. I played, I played with that a little bit last night. That's fun. Cause you get some, some close up shots of your people, and you can, <laughs> you can see some of the. My favorite is going to the, the bus stations where they're kind of stacking up and oh. just seeing them all like look at their watch and <laughs> you know they're all they're all frustrated and like oh sorry <laughs> yep <laughs> maybe I'll send some more I've buses I've away. maxed out the budget for my for my buses and I still get nothing but a bunch of people hanging around the bus yeah tracks. me too I I think and that that's the one complaint I have now that they I I'm hoping for better traffic or or um, bus uh, layout a better way that you can see how efficient your buses are I know you can click on the lines and it will say it saved, or uh, it'll, it'll say it saved thirty or forty percent of cars on the road, or something mm-hmm. like that. But it doesn't give you an idea of where your people actually want to go. You can click on them and see where they where they want to go, but you don't know what the mass of the people in that area want to go. Yeah. You're just kind of basically guessing. Right. When any time I'll see a traffic jam where they're where they're stalled, I'll click on one of the cars, and and it's like, oh, they're going home, and I'll click where their home is. And it's right, it's just a few blocks ahead of them. And, I'm, and then it says they're driving home from work, and it'll show their workplace. And I'll click on their workplace, and it's like, it's all the way across town. I'm like, what are you <laughs> yeah. doing? But just, there's also I got a subway a built for you. <laughs> there's, there's also a workaround where you can put a bunch of footpaths, you know, that like go over the... The, the pedestrian streets. walkways, yeah. Yeah, and people will walk to work even if they're like miles away from, mm-hmm. from where they uh, <laughs> live. I, I, yeah. I tried my hand at pedestrian uh, pedestrian paths like a week ago on my last time playing, and, and they looked horrible. They looked like they were designed by a five-year-old, but uh, they got the job done, um, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it worked out very well because they kept crossing the street, and that would cause cars to have to wait longer for the people to cross streets, and I didn't want them crossing any more streets. So now they just walk over the streets and get to where they need to go. Right. So. The, that's my favorite thing to do in the game right now where my city sits is trying to figure out the traffic problems in certain areas and just kind of designing roads around, like noticing that cars all want to go one way and then maybe make this one street a one way and have the, the rever- return street on a different side so that it just kind of, you get like a clockwise kind of flow of traffic, almost mm-hmm. like a giant, you know, roundabout. Yeah. Um, and it's fun to kind of experiment and see what they do, you know, where they're headed and, and that kind of thing. It's just it's, just, it's such a great game. There's so many different layers to it, and yeah. especially if you're creative, you know. The, a- the other, the mods that I have, uh, like I said, it was the fr- I've got the first-person camera mod. I've got the Borderlands. Uh, yeah, the, the the style. I saw you, you post a screenshot. Yeah, well, that was, the- they had, that was somebody, because you press, I think you press backslash, and it opens up the panel for you to use this, and you can enable it in the default settings uh, as they are, and it gives you a very Borderlands-ish feel. But you can also edit those settings to wipe out the, uh, or to oversaturate or drain all the color. And so uh, you can have a black and white city, uh, or, or a white city with the black hard lines outlining every building and every uh, car and stuff like that. So uh, there's some features. And so, so somebody, the, the post that I had, uh, the picture that I put in the chat room wasn't necessarily Borderlands-ish, but it was using that filter with some edits to give it a very, I don't even know what kind of style that was, but it looked really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think it's called Border Cities. I think that's the name of the... Uh, uh, the mod for it. I've also got the the Sun Streaks mod installed. I wanted to see what that looked like. Eh, it's kind of okay. Um, I've got the road upgrade thing in there. Road upgrade. What is that? Well, it lets you convert any roads to one ways or any directional one ways to an opposite directional one way. Oh, they changed that in the in the official patch. Oh, did they? Yeah. Maybe I don't have that one installed. Maybe I'm reading that off of. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm remembering that or remembering that off of the uh, the patch. Yeah, that was one of the complaints I had last week. But again, they fixed it. I mean, all these this patch came in four days after most of the problems found were found last weekend. Mm-hmm. So that's a pretty impressive turnaround. I saw uh, man, it's thirteen people working on this. So mm-hmm. they've it's not like it's a big group that has to go on and build some other game for the publisher. It's like their focus and devotion is on City Skyline. So they'll they'll take the the complaints, the problems, whatever it is. And, and work them out as best they can and keep updating the game, they're really going to take care of it, unlike, sadly, the people who should have been taking care of their game. 
It yeah. didn't. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's unfortunate for them. But what uh, let's off the off the city skylines. I mean, what else are you planning to do? Are you going to make more cities? What do you? Where do you go? What is what is your what's your goal for this city that you built? So I got one more. I got two more buildings I need to unlock before I unlock them all, and that's the. Right now, I'm struggling with uh, 20,000 squares of commercial zone just because my commercial is not performing very well right now. So that's one milestone. The next one after that is surviving, I think, a, a year with 40% crime, and that unlocks the last building, and then I'll have all my buildings unlocked. And then after I'm done there, I'm going to start a new city and uh, try to get some of the other achievements that, that are on there, like um, have your your taxes, your residential taxes, 5% higher than the rest of your commercial and then vice versa and then try my my hand at no pollution mm. which is another which is another achievement yeah so that'll be interesting i'll go through the achievement you know the <laughs> my typical achievement whoring yeah no i know, I know, <laughs> I know and that's fine that's good cool, because that's all if, if i think about that i think about you and i know that you're dedicated to doing that stuff and that's completely <laughs> fine that's totally fine what are you as far as this Jump in, I know I know you didn't call in to get an interview, but this is what's happening. Um, what <laughs> are you looking for? Are you going to be getting into Bloodborne? So, remember I think I called in before and said 2015 was going to be a pretty mediocre year for gaming? Right. Uh, it probably won't be a pretty mediocre year for gaming with this game and Bloodborne. I think those two games, and then, of course, Metal Gear Solid coming. Um, so those are my next three games, or two games on, on my, my radar. I will be buying... Bloodborne, but I'd like to wrap up cities before I do that. You're, um, when you say what, wrap up uh, something like City Skylines, you just mean the achievements, right? Yeah, I mean I've already sunk so much time into it. I think I could probably get there by next Tuesday, but if I have to wait an extra week, that that's okay with me because that I don't know if you guys talked about it on your show, but Best Buy is running a, a pretty amazing deal on their Gamers Club. Oh no, Have you guys yeah. talked about this. Well, I, we talked about it off air, I think, last okay. week, but we didn't talk about it on the air. They've officially dropped the price to thirty bucks right. for the Gamers and Club it, Unlocked. It gives you what is it, fifteen percent off retail titles for two years? It gives so you twenty. It gives you twenty percent off. Oh, is it twenty? Yeah, I forgot. I, <laughs> yeah, it, it basically it, saves you what fourteen dollars or twelve dollars on yeah, every a game sixty you buy? Do, a sixty dollar game will come out to like forty eight dollars, uh, pretty much. Um, Perfect. Obviously, taxes are different wherever you're buying from, but uh, a sixty dollars game comes out to forty eight dollars. And then when you trade that game in, if you do it fast enough, when the game has almost its full uh, its full value, or at least its full trade in value before it drops, uh, you'll get forty four dollars back. And so, essentially, you'll have spent four dollars on that game. Yeah, it's such a great deal, and if Fantastic. If, if you're a gamer, it's it's a no brainer because you'll be buying three games in two years, and that's how you make your money back. Yeah, well, I mean, games. I plan on I plan on doing that with uh, with Bloodborne. I plan on picking Bloodborne up from Best Buy. I plan on picking Mortal Kombat X from Best Buy, and again, turning these things around as fast as I can to get them back to the guys. And that, that doesn't uh, back to Best Buy. That doesn't mean I'm going to finish them because it's a fighter game. I don't I don't do fighters. I just want to see it and get some time with it. Um, I don't think Bloodborne is my style either, but I do want to be able to talk about it next week when we talk about uh, when we talk about it. So <laughs> uh, let's see. And other than that, I really don't have anything else on my radar. Witcher three. So I can't do it with PC games. PC games yeah. is the only way is the only place it gets you because you can't return PC games. That I know. That's of. okay. I mean, yeah. you know, we can't. I mean, Steam is is almost the perfect entity in itself. You know, just the. I mean, we're seeing the modding community thrive on Steam. You know, just with this game, with with the right. And I was going to say, most of the most of your games, if you're going to get them on PC, anyways, you can usually find ways to get them cheaper than full price, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, whether they come as a deal from from graphics cards, which we didn't even talk about that yet, but when they come as a deal with graphics cards and stuff like that, and people throw those games up on eBay, which is why I paid twenty five bucks for Arkham Origins on release day, because I was able to get it from people who had the codes off eBay. I was like, okay, yep. buy it there. So, well, we appreciate Witcher, you. you know, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, well, no, no. I was just going to say, The Witcher Three. You know, again, another great game. That's a that's another hundred hour game, though. You know, the, you get Bloodborne, you get Dark Souls Two coming out for PS4, which they're saying is the best iteration of Dark Souls Two. And then you've got Witcher. These are all, you know, five six hundred hour games that you just can't you can't turn around. You, you have to really commit if you're going to. 
Yeah. If you want to get all of it out of it, yeah. I haven't committed on Witcher 2, and I really should try and do that before Witcher 3, but uh, it's just (laughs) not not nagging at me enough to do that. So, well, we appreciate you calling in, man, as always. Thanks so much. You went to PAX East, didn't you? I did. Wow, that was, yeah, it was a very disappointing PAX East. (laughs) Why was it disappointing? There were no developers there. It was all hardware vendors and... You know, it was just nothing really that interesting. On the, I'm, I'm a big expo guy. I don't really go to the panel. And their panels weren't that great either. But um, I just, they're w- walking around. I think I did everything Friday, and I, that almost never happens. I wanted to try the Oculus Rift maybe, but when I looked at what was available, it was like two chairs. You know, you have to wait four hours and sit in line all day. And and then there was another one. There was another Oculus Rift for a, a flight sim game, but you weren't guaranteed to actually get it. They had like 10 stations and they only had two that had the Oculus Rift so you could be waiting for two hours for for nothing. So mm-hmm. it was just, those are my two kind of planned events and the, you know I played Final Fantasy um, Type-0. Mm. That was okay I suppose, you know, it's just there wasn't really much going on as far as, you know, big games, unreleased games that I wanted to play so it was definitely the worst East packs. um, that I've been to. Well, I hate it was disappointing for you. And I, mean, I hate you didn't yeah. get to try out the Oculus. Have you tried out the Oculus Rift yet? No. No, oh, I have not. God, I hate you didn't get a chance to do that, man. <laughs> oh, oh, God, it's great. Great experience. Well, again, we appreciate you calling Just in. Just rub the salt in that wound. I, I know. Yeah, I, I know. hate <laughs> to. I hate to do it. I hate to. Eventually, it's coming, though. It's coming. He'll get to experience VR in some form, be it Steam's or be it Facebook's, whatever the case. Uh, he'll be able to experience in some form or another and, and kind of get a taste of that thing. I really, really, really like the VR world. So, But thanks again for calling in. We appreciate it. Love the show, guys. Later. All right. All right bye-bye. Later, bye-bye. bye-bye. Um, a couple of things that we did not get a chance to, or at least uh, some quick ones that I wanted to talk about, was the uh, God of War 3 remaster. Nate, you seem excited about that. Uh, you seemed excited about that. Yeah, I would... I'd like, uh, I'd like if they would do it all three of them. Um, but, I mean, I, I still would definitely try that one out. I'd never beat that one. Okay. That was the only one I didn't beat. That was the, because when, when you posted on Facebook, that was my, my th- initial thought was that he, he either hasn't played this or he hasn't. Yeah, it was the only one I hadn't beat, actually. Yeah, he so. hasn't played it all the way through or something like that because uh, uh, when I looked at that, I thought, why three? Yeah. I Why three? Two. Why not one? Why not I don't two? Know why not, do all three Why not a whole collection? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Why not do that? Why not a new one? Uh, three just... I, I can't say that three is too recent for them to do because Last of Us was less than a year. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or almost right at a year. Yeah. When it released on PS3 and then released on PS4 for a remaster. Um, so I can't say that it was too soon for them to do that. I just can't understand why... It's a franchise. It's like if they were to remaster Uncharted Three, I would expect it to be one and two to the go Uncharted with it. series remastered mm-hmm. collection. There could be alternative uh, motives to it of a new game, working on a new engine. But why not remaster the other two? Because it, they need to work on the other game that they're working. Because on. they're working on the other game. Okay. So they're just, well, let's redo this one, learn it, kind of like they did with The Last of Us yeah. for Uncharted Four. I have no clue, just throwing it out there. Do we know of anything that's different with this remaster other than, you know, hey, it's going to look Not that I know. slightly better, I guess. <laughs> I don't necessarily know how much you're, how much better it's going to look. Yeah, not not that I know of. Hmm. Like I said, I just play it just so I can finish it. And I, I yeah, like God of War is another one of those that I, that I throw back on the Devil May Cry type stuff, which is it's traverse, fight a room, traverse, fight room, traverse, fight room, you know? Sounds um, good to me. Yeah, I know it does. I know. And I'm not saying it, it there are times where it feels like it does get old or stale, but the boss battles for that one is the ones that mm-hmm. I is is again, DMC, it's the levels and the way they've designed them and God of War, it's the boss fights because you're fighting these yeah, yeah. larger than life uh deities and beings and everything else. Also God of War 3. Mm, I didn't like that ending. I don't know what the ending is. I'm not going to tell you anything <laughs> about the ending. The ending, I felt like there was a point where they could have ended it, but they didn't. They kept going. And I felt like there was a point where it was like, hey, that's a good, that's a good stopping point right here. But they didn't. They kept going, and, it, and 
where they went was not fun at all. That's pretty rare for games. Typically, they end too short. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, but that's just uh, that's just me. We should take another break here, real quick, and then we come back. We will uh, have little final segments of the show. RJ said he might be able to call in, but he is currently waiting to be called to his next match. He could be called any minute, so he's not exactly sure. He did give me an update on how he's doing, and uh, I will relay that to you uh, in the next segment here. We'll be right back with more of in-game chat. Right now, here is music from Heavy Rain. Welcome back to In Game Chat. This music is the sound of hours of my life going by. <laughs> this is your city skylines. This, yes, definitely. Yeah, it's like I said last week. City skylines is going to be my Diablo. It's going to be my. What'd you do this week? I dabbled a little bit in city sky. You don't yeah. just dabble a little bit in city skylines, though. Yes. There is no. Let me turn on the game just so I can fix this road. That's how it starts, but then you know you have another city five hours later yeah yeah there's no let me just you know wander the wasteland a little bit oh, there's nothing like that nothing at all let me give you an update on rj uh he might be oh wow all three lines are now full of people and rj could be one of those so uh if it is hopefully we can get to him but um he says he went two for two in street fighter he went three for four in the round robin robin virtua fighter and he is facing elimination in guilty gear that's all we know so far of rj well, I hope he does well, uh, you know, hope he picks it up in Guilty yeah. Gear. So it sounds like it's actually going pretty good for him. So let's get to these phones real quick. I know you guys are on hold. Uh, we've only got about 15 more minutes, so I'm going to try and get to every single one of you. Uh, let's go now. He's been waiting for a long time. Uh, Mumnut's on the line. Hey, man. Let me just run down these questions real quick. So okay. Get on with it. I, you say you stream online playing the city games. I believe that could be my next crack. <laughs> Uh, very cool, very well could how, be. How do I find where you are? And where do you stream online when you're playing the game? Uh, the channel that you're watching right now. You're in the uh, you're in the chat room, right? Twitch, yeah. The Twitch chat, yes. You're on the Twitch chat, yeah. We 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 broadcast. You're you're watching us right now and listening to us, right? Right. This same channel. That's where we stream at. Okay, and I, I suggest you do that right after the show's over. Well, I can't. I got to drive home first, and then hook my computer back up, and then uh, edit the video and everything else. But I do plan on streaming some tonight, so just hang around. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, you reckon they have a trial download or a demo for City Skylines? They do not. Okay, and let's see, play now. What do y'all do on Steam? What do we what? What do you do? Uh, how do I find you or you in the community or something? Oh, on Steam? 
Yeah, yeah, we do have a Steam group. We on. have a Steam group. If you'll look in the chat room, I'll have one of the guys post a link to the Steam group, uh, and you can join. Uh, you can join the group there. Just I click think on the I link. I did, but have trouble finding stuff sometimes. And maybe if you have a blog or something, maybe you could like that guy was talking about building a bunch of roads, which is not the way to go. <laughs> yeah, no. And I would not have known that. Do y'all have like some tips for noobs to get started in the game? Uh, tips for noobs is take it very slow and small. Start yes. small, start slow. Yes. Don't, uh, don't just go nuts with roads. Don't go nuts with everything else. Just start small and go slow. And don't go nuts with anything, right? Right. Just don't. Yeah. You know, you only need one source of power. You only need the one source of water and the one, uh, the one outflow of water. You don't need to build a bunch of them. Uh, so just start small, go slow, and everything will gradually increase. Uh, over time, so. Could this replace my mind crack? My, mind crack? It possibly could. I don't know. It's all. It all depends. I'm not much of a Minecraft guy, so it never sunk its teeth into me. It did every now and again, but I would, uh, I would easily lose, uh, lose interest. So, uh, it could for you. I don't know. It's, uh, it, it's something to try out, but I think the price of it's only like thirty bucks. So yeah, I looked at that. You earlier. won't. Uh, you won't. I still got it uh, from Green Man for twenty one. Did you? Did you? You yeah. got it from Green. So Green Man may still have it for twenty one. And uh, Where? again, a uh, place called Green Man Gaming. Again, uh, check the chat room because we'll be posting links in there for you to be able to find it. So there you go. That like the barbecue? Uh, I don't think green? so. Greenland? No, not no, dream. No, no, not dream. Green, green, as in the color green. Yeah. Green oh. Man Gaming. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for calling. Bye bye. Bye bye. And the next caller, I don't know who this is, but hello, you are on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? All right, next caller. Then hello, you are on the air. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Nope. And nope. All right. All right. Well, got through those calls very easily. Then <laughs> yeah. I thought we would have problems, we're but on the no. Hot seat. Anyway, Maybe they just got shy talking to you. And that's fine. We're all, we're almost out of time anyway. So uh, I appreciate everybody who's uh, called in and talked to us today. We appreciate it. Nobody heard you. I know you said you called, but nobody heard you. So anyway, uh, you blew it. Yeah, I don't know if you were trying to do something, but you blew it. <laughs> Not there anymore. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else? Really, not too much. We pretty much hit on uh, on everything that we wanted to talk about. I, obviously, Bloodborne is what we're going to be playing next week. Uh, what about you, though? I mean, it's for for Nate and myself. It'll be Bloodborne, City Skylines, and, and other games that Nate wants to play. Probably more just Bloodborne. Uh, but what about Matt? What about uh, Dennis? I'm gonna play some more. Uh, you know, I've been getting back in my uh, 3DS. I'm gonna play some more of the Phoenix Wright, uh, Professor Layton. Also uh, doing some more in the Sniper Elite Three. Um, trying to do that, and I've been thinking about uh, doing a playthrough of Colonial Marines. Just really, just yeah, like streaming that, and just you know, all right, you know, all jokes aside about how bad it is, let let's find out how bad it is, you know. All right, Matt, that was great. We've got RJ on okay. the phone. <laughs> hey, RJ, what's up? Hey, how, how you folks doing? I'm back in my cover, man. Uh, hey! Doing good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. we got about eight minutes or less here, so how are things going for you at final round? Well, unfortunately, this is my last update, man. I didn't make it uh, I didn't make it far at all in Guilty Gear. I had two really good players uh, sit me out of the tournament. I just need just listen, just listen to me. I need to take a little more practice being the normal. That's okay. All. But yeah, but then again, final round is some of the best and brightest from around the world. You know, like I said, man, the best from uh, the U.S., the best from Japan, the best from uh, Europe, all those places, man. The best, the brightest are here. So the fact that I did, um, I did is uh, well, two and two, three and four, and uh, well, zero and two in Guilty Gear. But I, I'm, uh, I'm not uh, depressed or anything about. It. I'm just, uh, just need a little practice a little more. But I feel uh, I did good here. Well, yeah, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you actually did good this round, uh, better than you did last year. Yeah, I only went uh only had one victory in Street Fighter and two straight losses, but I got two and two, so the my main goal is to actually get out of those first uh first pool of uh any fighting tournament I get in. Get out of the pool and get into the uh next round up. You know, that's that's the goal I'm trying to aim for. I mean this it's a slow process, but if I keep plugging away eventually I'll crack that uh crack that ceiling when I get there. All right. Well All no, right. I mean that's good that uh, you know, something to be proud of, man. Yeah, I mean, we had some, uh, the, the best I did was in a uh, virtual fire. We had a player from uh, Japan, uh, Itabashi, Itabashi uh, Zangief. I mean, he plays a mean game of uh, 
virtual fighter, and uh, they had me play against them. Uh, all I got was uh, two rounds off of them, but uh, we did a round robin format. Basically, when you don't have enough people to have a bracket for a tournament, you go round robin. You play every participant one time, and so uh, I had uh, I played everybody uh, once. So it was a three and four in that. But uh, it was on stream. Uh, if you go to Twitch uh, TV, look up uh, Black Star uh, and Virtual Fighter. You'll probably see the stream of our our whole tournament there. So if you get a chance to look at it, mm-hmm. I'm the one playing as Jeffrey. So if you want, ever want to see it, there it is. Oh, okay, cool, mm-hmm. fantastic. Then, well, uh, I know that. Um, I guess now you've got you got time to actually uh, to talk to us. I know you were worried there for a minute; you'd be called away, but. Uh, yeah. We were we were just wrapping up talking about what we were going to play next week, and I guess Bloodborne is on your agenda, correct? Bloodborne is the first thing I'll be playing when I get back from the final round. All right, man, and then we'll we'll talk about that uh, we'll talk about that on next weekend show. So, thanks okay. for calling I'll in, man, board. and congratulations on uh, uh, the better success, obviously, that you had since last year. And I know you're satisfied with it, and that's all that matters. So, congrats. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Thanks, man. All I'll right, see take care. Next time. All right, bye. All right, take care. Bye. Well, there you go. So that's it. We're going to try this one phone call one more time. Hello, who is this? You are on the air. Hello. Hey, what's your name? My name's AJ. All right, what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I wanted to talk about Minecraft. Well, we've only got like very short amount of time. There's not much time we can talk about Minecraft, and there's not a lot of us who play Minecraft either very much. But, Why? Uh, Say again? Why? We're in Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, where are we? We're in Montgomery, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you go to www.findminecraft.com? Uh, sure. But uh, we got to run, though. I appreciate the call. Okay, but can you go to www.findminecraft.com quickly? All right. Thanks for calling. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what they were saying. Something they about wanted a website. To get, wanted us to go to a website. Okay. Minecraft. Something. Great radio. radio Find Minecraft.com. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, we appreciate the call. We just don't have very much time. In fact, we need to run. I want to thank everybody for joining us in the chat room, as well as everybody listening on the stream and even on the radio as well. Thanks to everybody who grabs us each week from iTunes or however you get our show for later use. We really appreciate it. Head over to ingamechat.net. You can join us on Twitter. Facebook, our forums at colonyofgamers.com. You you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you're on Steam, we've got a Steam group where you can join up with us over there and play games with us and other listeners, and uh, we want to thank everybody uh, who joined us today. Have a great week, folks. We will see you next Saturday. Here is music from Advent Rising.